we live on different coasts now, and I miss him so much. So I'm so glad that Joe is here. But um, I'm just welcome. It's your life. Tough question. For me, it's always going to be Desi Arnaz and the Lucy Show because I came here at two years old from Cuba and I remember it was a perfectly natural thing to hear Desi Arnaz singing in Spanish, you know, music from my land. It wasn't a weirdness. It was like everybody was tuning in, everybody was loving the show and it I saw myself reflected, so that was a wonderful thing to see early on. I didn't realize at the time how unique that was and how it was going to be a long time before we saw anything like that again, if ever. He's all right. He said, that's what happened with my accent. I learned, you know, English with him. Yeah. So that's what I kept the accent like that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm sorry my father would have been a hundred, so he, even if he was alive, he probably wouldn't be here anyway. And I'm happy to be able to say thank you in, in, on his behalf with my son, Joe. So three generations tonight, which is great. Can you believe this, Lana? You know, I look around this gorgeous building and I wonder, how the hell did a Puerto Rican from Greenwich Village via Calle Puerto Rico, let me get that right, okay? How did this guy end up up here? And the answer is simple, television, television. God bless you, Bailey Center, for making it possible for us to be sitting here and understanding our lives in a way that has never been done before. And may this be the beginning of a glorious and great understanding of the contributions of Latinos throughout this industry, throughout this country, and around the world. We are not only in everybody's mind, but we are in the soul and the construct of this country.